my trip to the largest oil well in the El Alamein fields in the western desert in EGYPT. El Alamein fields in western desert amid sand dunes and dramatic rock formations. I set out on a journey to explore one of the region's vital centers, an oil field in the middle of the desert. As I traversed the hinterland, my spirits soared in the hope of witnessing firsthand the processes underpinning this fascinating corner of the world. Upon my arrival, I was greeted by a team of dedicated engineers and workers who welcomed me warmly and shared stories of challenges and triumphs that defined their presence in this unforgiving environment. I was amazed by the sheer resilience and ingenuity of individuals who toil tirelessly in the relentless embrace of the desert. I ventured into the heart of the oil fields, where towering oil rigs bear witness to man's determination and quest to extract precious resources from under the desert sands. I have witnessed the complexities and precision of the extraction process and gained a new appreciation for the tremendous effort and expertise required to harness the hidden treasures of the desert. El Alamein fields are the first producing fields in the western desert, starting in 1968, and the total production from the company's various fields since its inception has reached approximately 128 million barrels of oil. Production of fossil fuels in Egypt began with the pumping of small amounts of oil. With the production of oil, condensate, and natural gas liquids in Egypt reaching about 126,000 barrels per day in 1965, before these supplies nearly doubled within a decade. According to the British Energy Institute's annual statistical review, which includes fossil fuel data in Egypt, Egypt's oil production of crude oil, condensate, and gaseous liquids amounted to 228,000 barrels per day in 1975. The Alamein 48 well was drilled using IPR1 drilling rig and reaches a depth of 8,900 feet. This drilling comes as part of an ambitious development plan for the fiscal year 2022-2023, which includes the drilling of four wells, with a total investment from the partner company, IBR worth five million. Despite the obsolescence of the wells and the increase in the percentage of water associated with production, the El Alamein fields still carry positive potential as the Alamein well achieved 48 outstanding results during its testing and the oils flowed naturally from the production hole with an average of 3,000 barrels of oil per day without the presence of associated water. This led to achieving a record in the company's daily production of about 6,500 barrels of oil per day. The city of Alamein is one of the richest Egyptian regions in natural resources, and Egyptian companies for oil and natural gas exploration are spread in the western desert south of El Alamein, in which international oil companies contribute alongside the Egyptian General Petroleum Corporation. The exploration concession areas in the city are divided between several companies, including El Alamein Petroleum, Hammer Oil, North El Alamein Petroleum, NALPETCO Marina Petroleum, and Western Desert Petroleum, WEPC, of which manages the Hamra Petroleum Port, which accounts for 40% of Egypt's petroleum exports through its connection to three onshore lines to transport crude oil from the fields of Ajiba Petroleum Company, Bajr Eldin Petroleum Polyum, Bopteco, and Western Desert Petroleum, WEPC ON. In addition to the facilities of land pumping stations for Egyptian refineries or sea freight to various countries, World Hammer Petroleum Port. It is a seaport specialized in serving the petroleum sector located on a total area of 7.24 km and a marine area of 5.75 km at a distance of 15 km from the El Alamein traffic point and about 120 km west of Alexandria near the western desert oil wells. The port serves oil tankers from 30,000 tons to 45,000 tons and has a capacity of three oil tankers per month and includes five storage warehouses with a total capacity of one million barrels equipped with fire protection and fighting systems. The port is managed by WUAP. CO and is linked to three landlines to transport crude oil from Ajiba Petroleum. Baptico and WEPC owe, in addition to the facilities of land pumping stations for Egyptian refineries and sea freight to various countries of the world. The port currently receives stores and ships. The production of more than 15 oil companies operating in the western desert 
Its production represents more than 40% of Egypt's petroleum production. The port is planned to develop in the future to enter the field of petroleum derivatives trading and includes a refinery with a number of storage warehouses and pipelines doubled. There are three types of oil in Egypt. The first is light and sweet crude found in onshore fields in the western desert, while the other two types, which are medium and sour crude, are extracted from the Gulf of Suez and Belaim offshore fields and are refined locally. Oil production in Egypt followed an upward trend, exceeding 509,000 barrels per day for the first time in history in 1979. And this trend continued until 1,985 when supplies reached 882,000. In 1986, Egypt's oil production fell for the first time since the mid-1990s falling to 806,000 barrels per day from 882,000 the previous year. The following year, in 1987, Egyptian oil production jumped to 907,000 barrels per day, then fluctuated slightly in that range to 924,000 barrels per day in 1995. The highest oil production in Egypt's history. Despite mixed performance in the following years, Egypt's production has not since reached 900,000 barrels per day but has remained in the range of 600,000 to 700,000 barrels per day. By the end of the year of the corona pandemic 2020, oil production in Egypt declined to the lowest level since 1981, at 632,000 barrels per day compared to 653,000 barrels per day in 2019. The decline continued to 608,000 barrels per day in 2021, before production rose by the end of last year. 2022 to 613,000 barrels per day. According to data from the Egyptian Ministry of Petroleum, Egypt's production of oil wealth reached about 97.5 million tons during 2022, including the production of 27.8 million tons of crude and condensate, 50.6 million tons of natural gas, as well as 1.1 million tons of butane. With fossil fuel consumption increasing in Egypt against declining oil production, the country is forced to rely on imports to provide for the domestic market, which exposes the country to fluctuations in oil prices and puts pressure on the expenditure item in the budget. The monitoring of the British Energy Institute shows that Egypt's oil consumption increased during the past year 2022 to 750,000 barrels per day compared to 644,000 barrels per day in 2021 and 590, 8,000 barrels per day in 2020. The data shows that the highest oil consumption recorded by the country was in 2016 when it reached 836,000 barrels per day, then fell to 801,000 barrels per day in 2017 to 721,000 barrels in 2018 and to 686,000 barrels per day in 2019. Since the Energy Institute's monitoring began in 1965, Egypt's oil consumption curve has varied between ups and downs. Egypt's oil consumption in 1965 was about 131,000 barrels per day, before rising to 140,000 barrels per day in 1966, but declined to 116 barrels per day in 1967, and then rose again to 121 barrels per day in 1968. The year 1969 witnessed the lowest level of Egypt's oil consumption historically, reaching 92,000 barrels per day, and in 1977, Egypt's production reached 201,000 barrels per day, then rose to 336,000 barrels per day in 1982. In 1985, Egypt's oil consumption rose to 406,000 barrels per day, before recording 518,000 barrels per day in 1997. Egypt's oil consumption reached 606,000 barrels per day from the first time in 2005, climbed to 715,000 barrels per day in 2009, and jumped to 810,000 barrels per day in 2015. Government data shows that Egypt's consumption of oil products increased during the past year 2022 to 81 million tons, an annual increase of 6.2% which included 35.5 million tons of oil products and 45.6 million tons of oil. natural gas. The latest data released by Oil and Gas Journal shows that Egypt's oil reserves stabilized in the year According to statistics,
statistics from the Energy Institute until 2020, Egypt ranks sixth on the African continent in terms of the size of reserves, after Libya, Nigeria, Algeria, Angola, and South Sudan. Egypt's oil reserves were the highest recorded in 1987, reaching 4.7 billion barrels, compared to 2.9 billion barrels in 1980, the lowest level since monitoring began by the British Energy Institute. Egypt's oil reserves rose in 1981 to 3.5 billion barrels, to 3.7 billion barrels in 1982, and first recorded 4 billion barrels in 1983, then fell to 3.8 billion barrels in 1985, before rising again to 4.5 billion barrels the following year. Egypt's oil reserves continued to range from 3.4 billion to 4.7 billion barrels until 2012. But since 2013, Egypt's reserves have not risen above 4 billion barrels, as they have been declining until they stabilized at 3.1 billion barrels in 2020. To increase fossil fuel production in Egypt, the country is attracting foreign companies to research, explore, and develop existing fields. Egypt invested up to EGP 1.2 trillion 38 cents trillion during the period from July 2014 to the end of June 2023 in the development of gas and crude fields, oil refining and manufacturing, petrochemicals, oil and gas pipelines, oil storage depots, home gas delivery, and car fuel and gas supply stations. The country also issued 12 international auctions during that nine-year period to search for fossil fuels in Egypt especially oil and gas, especially in the Mediterranean Sea, the Red Sea, the Delta, the Western and Eastern Desert, the Gulf of Suez, and Upper Egypt, in addition to obsolete fields in the Gulf of Suez and the Eastern Desert. Through 10 bids held by Egypt in 2014-2023, 40 oil and gas exploration zones were awarded to international companies with a minimum investment of $2.3 billion dollars and signature grants of $298 million. Egypt succeeded in concluding 108 oil agreements with international and local companies during the period from June 2014 to May 2022, helping it increase fossil fuel production in Egypt. During that period, Egypt succeeded in implementing 32 projects in the development of oil fields, with investments amounting to $30.2 billion. Egypt is also witnessing the implementation of an advanced seismic survey for the first time with the aim of reassessing oil resources in the Gulf of Suez region, in addition to the implementation of a project by the South Valley Petroleum Holding Company to collect geophysical data in open onshore areas in southern Egypt. The country also implemented the first phase of a geophysical data collection project in Egypt's economic waters in the Red Sea which led to the first global tender in March 2019 in the Red Sea, aimed at increasing fossil fuel production in Egypt. If you like Tia YNOW channel videos, please like, subscribe, share, leave us your opinion and point of view in the comments and turn on notifications. Stay tuned for more our interesting subjects.